What is up? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Hope you're having a good day. Today we got another React segment for you. Top 10 insane animal attack stories from Watch Mojo. Let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. List, Hope you enjoy. We'll be looking at some of the most insane stories of people who were attacked by wild beasts and lived to tell about it. I was thinking, I'm gonna die. I'm not gonna is that survive audio good? this. This, is, this bear is gonna kill me. Number 10. Mike Coots. There was a bit of a foul smell in the air, um, sort of like uh, maybe a dead fish. But because the waves are so good, we're like, oh, forget this fish smell, we'll go out there and surf. In 1997, while paddling on a bodyboard trying to catch a wave off Hawaii, a tiger shark snuck up on 18-year-old Coots from below and grabbed his legs, shaking him viciously. My leg was severed completely off, like a surgeon could not have done a better job. Out of instinct, Coots socked the shark in the face twice, and it let him go. As he paddled back to shore, he realized he'd lost his leg in the incident. Ironically, the upbeat surfer is now part of an effort to protect sharks from being hunted. According to marine ecologist Boris Worm, an astonishing 11,000 sharks are killed each hour, mostly for their fins. But Coots and his organization have succeeded in helping pass state legislation to protect the animals and is hoping oh, to wow. spread more awareness internationally. And I feel the, sh the shark work, that alone, to help sharks, it was worth me losing a limb just for that alone. Number nine, Roy Horn. There's That's been so insane. many different versions that you hear of what actually happened. But All wrong. One half of famed Las Vegas entertainers Siegfried and Roy. Roy Horn has no bad blood with his attacker either. In the middle of a show, on Horn's birthday no less, the duo's white tiger Montecor bit into his neck and began dragging him off stage. Horn was rushed to the hospital but lost a severe amount of blood and is still partially paralyzed. Witnesses disagree on exactly what happened, but Horn himself has said the tiger was just carrying him off stage when it saw him in distress after he reportedly had stroke-like symptoms. In fact, the entertainers didn't hold the big cat responsible, and Roy even said he didn't want anyone to harm Montecor. Montecor passed away just about three months ago. And my brother. Your brother. Number eight, Ben Nyambi. Oh, wow. While farming in his native Kenya, Nyambi stepped on something squishy and was suddenly brought to the ground into the clutches of a python. It oh, wasn't the snake that was getting no. a meal though. Nyambi was the one to take a bite out of his opponent's tail while struggling to save himself. During the three hour struggle, the python brought him up into a tree, but Nyambi used his shirt to try to distract and possibly suffocate the animal. Help arrived after Nyambi managed to make a call on his cell phone. The python was then brought to a sanctuary. However, it escaped soon after and is probably now roaming Kenya, awaiting round two with his farming nemesis. Number seven, Bethany Hamilton. That is insane. Oh, we've heard about that story. Oh, don't judge me. She's the one who uh, had the story from Soul Surfer. Yeah. Three. Very interesting. 13 year old Bethany was taking a morning surf in Hawaii. She was lying on her board with her arm hanging in the water when a 14 foot long tiger shark latched onto her, biting near the left shoulder. While friends were able to bring her to safety, Hamilton lost her arm and later had a custom prosthetic made, which she rarely uses these days. Though most people would quit surfing after an incident like this, it was just the beginning for Hamilton. But Bethany was back on her board four weeks later. She started shredding just one month after the attack and went on to compete in many surfing competitions, decimating her competition in 2004 and 2005. Never As for the shark, it, it met its demise the day of the attack when some fishermen caught it and slaughtered it. But oh, wow. once things came clear in my mind, I knew I'd be back out there. Number six, Jean Mo. Back in 1999, this 68-year-old was deer hunting in Kodiak when a 750-pound grizzly bear decided to take up a hunt of its own. Mo and the beast fought until the man stabbed it in the neck. After backing off, it circled Mo, ready to finish him off. He took all of this meat down to the bone and brought it down to here. Things were looking grisly, but as the bear pounced, the man right-hooked it in the face, knocking it unconscious. I remember saying, come on, the Lord's on my side. <laughs> Mo then claimed total victory and shot the bear dead. Jean Mo had to have two skin grafts and 500 stitches, but he made a full recovery. 
As for the bear, well, let's just say it's in stable condition on Moe's That wall. is actually Number five, insane. Frank Harms. Most guys would at least like to trade names to and be digits alive. before getting attacked Bears by Bears are but Frank absolutely Harms was insane. Not so lucky. While walking his dog in Morgan City, Alabama, Harms came face to face with a mountain lion. The man tried to scare it away, That's a big but the cat. big cat wasn't falling for it and leapt on him. Down on the ground and about to be torn to shreds, Harms used his pocket knife to stab the panther, or a cougar if you prefer, repeatedly. The pain eventually registered, and the predator ran off. While Harms was left alive, his injuries necessitated multiple rabies shots. Number four, Michael yeah. Nash. In 2003, while traveling around Luango National Park in Gabon, this explorer wandered upon an elephant calf. Unluckily for him, it was with its mother, who did not take kindly to Nash crashing the party and charged at him, trying to gore him with her tusks. Nash parried her and jumped scary. onto them, holding on for dear life as the elephant continued charging. If he'd lost his grip, his adventures would have ended right there. Eventually, the protective mother lost energy, either because she was tired or she felt her baby was safe, leaving Nash with a boss story to tell at parties. Number three. Also Paul lucky to Templer. be alive. That is insane. Don't let those cute hippos from Fantasia fool you. These Bro, creatures hippos are dangerous are... towards humans, yes. killing an estimated 500 of us annually. Zambezi River guide Paul Templer knew this, but it didn't make his near-death experience with one any easier. While working the river one day, he noticed his co-worker fly out of his kayak. While reaching for him, Templer suddenly went blind and deaf. Was he dead? Templer managed to feel around with his free hand and realized he wasn't. He'd been swallowed. Playing hungry, hungry hippos. Hey! When the hippo surfaced, it swung him around like a rag doll before spitting him out. In the end, Templer suffered excessive blood loss and lost his left arm. But that he is survived. Insane. Number two, Hugh Glass. In the belly of a hippo. In 1823, this fur trapper stumbled upon a grizzly bear imagine. and her two cubs in snowy South Dakota. Glass was absolutely mauled by this bear, but his partners helped him kill it. Believing Glass was dying, General Ashley and the team left him for dead. Two volunteers were supposed to bury him when he died, but they left early, taking his weapons and gear to rejoin the party. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. However, Glass eventually came to, with a lot more fight left in him. He set his broken leg and began the 200-mile journey to the nearest settlement. Along the way, he allowed maggots to eat his dead flesh to prevent gangrene and fought wolves for raw bison. But he never did exact fatal revenge on his former colleagues. <laughs> Number one. Carl Akeley. Wow. Considered a pioneer in the field of taxidermy, Akeley was also a biologist, nature photographer, and inventor. In the 1890s, during the adventures he documented in his book, In Brightest Africa, he came across a hungry leopard. After he shot at the varmint with a rifle, it pounced on him and caught his arm instead of his throat. This would be the leopard's undoing, however, because it allowed Akeley to shove more of his arm down its throat, suffocating it from the inside. While Akeley could have replaced the leopard as a jungle predator after this attack, he just went back to being a badass scientist, continuing to contribute to museums and taxidermy. Do you agree with our picks? Oh, wow. Check out these other great clips from Watch that was Mojo. Crazy. That was actually really cool. I enjoyed that. What did you guys think? I hope you guys enjoyed it. That is all for this one. Uh, watch out for scary animals. They will get you. And yeah. Bears, big cats, don't mess with the two of them. Stay away from them. Also, apparently hippos, because I never want to ever hear of another story of somebody being inside of a hippo's stomach. That's crazy. But that is all for me tonight. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.